Hey guys, Unif Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working on this bathroom. And I'll be starting with the wall right here. I'll be covering the lower part with this board. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the upper part. I wanted the wall to be silver, so because I couldn't spray paint it, I got this silver paint that's meant for furniture. You heard me right, furniture. I did ask a lady there that works in the paint department and she said she tried it, but with a different paint brand. But I can test mine out to see how it turns out, and I did. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hoping this works. I gave this two coats of paint and when it was dry, it kind of looked darker and that worried me a bit, but I didn't put too much thought into it. I just let it be. I got small crates from Walmart and I painted them white and I'll be using them as shelves. I'll be covering the inside with a piece from a peel and stick floor tile. I'll be gluing on wood on top of the crate. I'll be covering up the corner and some parts of the wall with trim and crown molding. This particular one was spray painted gold because I want to mix gold and silver in this section. I want to add a little bit of gold on the crate by using this tape and a decorative onlay that has been spray painted gold. I added a mirror to the wall and took down the existing shower curtain to add a little gold detail to it. This side of the shower curtain will not be affected by water. I put it back up and this is what it looks like. Moving on to the floor. I got peel and stick floor tiles from Hobby Lobby that I'll be using for design to make borders around the bathroom. Now for the middle, I used white marble peel and stick floor tiles. Grout is usually not needed whenever you're using these types of floor tiles, but because I had too much opening here, I had to cover mine with grout. Here's how the floor and this little section here of the bathroom looks like. I later removed the gold tape that I had on the crate. I have to say that this paint that I picked became too dark over time and I was really disappointed because I wanted a bright silver and not something too dark. I mean, look at the color on the can and what's on the wall. The wall's definitely darker. So what I did was just to cover up the part of the wall here with the same board that I used at the bottom and I used caulk to fill up the holes and I painted over it with white paint. So now this section here is all white 
with gold borders and then I replaced the gold mirror with a white mirror. Let's see a little clip of the before and after. This is now a bright and open space and I love it. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go I'm doing something entirely different to the wall on the right and the cabinets. So I'm going to be posting it on my channel pretty soon, so stay tuned! I did very little things in here, but then it made a high impact to the entire look of the bathroom. I really had fun doing this, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed the video as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. The light, the